Minnesota is about to put its electric vehicle charging network into drive. The feds have signed off on the state's plan that starts with the 94 and I-35 corridors. Political reporter Theo Keith joining us, and so there just aren't enough chargers really out there right now. Yeah, and this is going to take a while to address, but it is really key to EV adoption. So let's do a little EV FAQ, if you will. Uh, the state has about 500 public chargers right now, but most of them are these level two chargers that are capable of charging a car's battery overnight. They are typically called home chargers. Only about 100 of the public chargers are these, the level three fast chargers that you see, things like uh, grocery stores and uh, out in front of uh, Walmarts in the Twin Cities uh, that make long road trips possible in an EV. EV owners say the cars are great as a daily driver, but long road trips can be a challenge if there aren't any public fast chargers where they're going. It's just like takes a lot of planning to look ahead and know where you can charge compared to gas stations everywhere. MnDOT has a plan for that and it just got federal approval. The plan calls for 16 new charging stations along interstates 94 and 35 ready for use by the end of 2024 using money from last year's federal infrastructure law. We know that about 85% of charging happens at home, um, but we do want to make sure that we're providing charging to people who are taking longer trips, um, as well as people who might not have access to a charger at home. The stations will be no further than 50 miles apart. The final sites aren't set, but in the mix are gas stations, restaurants, and big box stores along the freeways. Rest stops are out because people need something to do for the 30 minutes their car is charging. They just don't offer some of the same amenities that we can get at privately owned sites. Um, things like access to, you know, restaurants, gas stations, other amenities. EVs now represent fewer than 3% of cars sold in Minnesota. To boost that, the state needs a lot more charging stations, says Scott Lambert, president of the Minnesota Auto Dealers Association. People need to know that they can get an easy charge on these, that they'll be able to travel freely around the state and get their vehicles charged. And that's just not there right now. The next step is deciding where these chargers go, and there is a public input opportunity that we've linked to on Fox9.com. The federal law will end up delivering $68 million to Minnesota's build out over the next five years, which will allow MnDOT to move beyond I-94 and 35. Kelsey. All right, thank you, Theo.